Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you all my American Girl doll homemade furniture. And one of the things, like, was kind of hard to move. Like, I didn't want to really want to move it, so I'm just going to show you that first. And I'm just kind of going to start with the things that don't take as much effort to make. And then move on to the things that are more hard to make. And I'm not going to show you how to make them, I'll just kind of tell you. So this is basically an American Girl doll couch. Basically, all you need to do is take a box, and my mine is like a locker for my dolls, but I didn't really like it. I didn't have anything to use it. And then mine wasn't long enough, so I just stacked it up with some other stuff, but yeah. And then you just put like a blanket, but this is an American Girl, so you don't really like it. You basically just put something on top, and then it's basically like a couch, and it's pretty good size for dolls. It could be better. But it's like better than not having it in there for your dolls to sit. I need to tape mine or something like that together because it keeps on falling apart. No, that's okay. I never even really sit my dolls on it. It's just for show. But yeah, so that's not even hard to make. All you do is get the box. Over here, this is also not even hard to make. It's just, this is just a box, a shoe box covered in duct tape that I call my dolls coffee table. So yeah, and then this is also not hard to make. So basically, just take the toilet paper roll and put them together. Then you're probably gonna want to stack this on top of a box, but I didn't because it's low. And then just like take a, well, and then like put something on top of it. This you know it doesn't have to have storage, but this is a box that I keep some of my doll food in because I have a doll fridge, but I keep other food in it. And, and then I'm probably gonna end up stacking it on top of a box. If I can find one that's the right size. First two items, easy to explain. Now we're gonna move on to. Yeah. And I didn't make some of these things. So that's basically all the things that aren't even hard to make. So this is a My Froggy Stuff tutorial, but I figured I'd just show it. And it's the tutorial for the shower. So if you wanna know how to make that, you can check out their channel. And it actually looks really cool. Like, and actually open that up, and yeah. Um, there, if you have all the supplies, it looks way better. We didn't really have all the supplies, and some of the colors are turning off, not turning off, turning up weird on the camera, but, like, they're not correct. But, yeah, and, um, if you have all the supplies, trust me, it'll look way better, but I didn't. So, these three things were made for me. So I, so my aunt made me five chairs for, well, me and Aunt Miss Nikki, five chairs for my dolls, and I use them as like, have you ever seen those chairs that like people put on their bed? That's kind of what I use them for, and I also just put them in my doll rooms as like a nice place to read or something. So I have three more coming because we still make them. But these are two of them, and they basically look like this. And I don't use them as a couch, really. Sorry. I like couches or anything, but... And I don't... I think, yeah. So basically, she just took, like, cardboard and put it on the bottom. And right here, and then covered it in cloth. Like, these are just, like... She basically took cardboard and made, like, the actual, like, couch. And then she covered it in, like, foam or something. And then covered it in fabric. I think that's pretty much what she did, and then she sewed it. So it looks really good, so I might ask her to make me an actual doll card. Yeah, so I don't know how to use this, but I figured I'd just show it, because it is homemade. So this is kind of furniture, it's kind of small, but yeah. So I put this on my doll's beds, and I use it as like a little table. So you need like a nightstand table basically, but it's on the bed, and it's just made out of wood. And I figured I'd show it, and the drawer opens, there's nothing inside of it. And it's an M for my doll MJ. Cause I have my dolls with yeah. And I figured I'd just show that because it is homemade even if it's not really furniture and even if I didn't make it. Two more items. So this is a sink that me and my mom made and we took a cardboard box. It was like a cat box. I think it was cat food or cat. Yeah, I think it was cat food box. Nine waves. 
or something like that. I don't know. We don't, I don't usually get that. It was my grandma's box. I can't remember. So we basically had painted it, but we didn't like, but then it didn't really go off some of my other furniture in my bathroom. So I covered it in black duct tape and we had cut a hole in the box for this and this was black. So it looked really good. And then I covered a hanger in duct tape and yeah. I mean, it does have to have those knob thingies, but, um, I'm, like, making those right now, like, yeah. But, yeah, that's pretty much, that's, like, the theme. And it actually looks better than, like, other things, because, like, it actually has a hole. Because I didn't want my sink to just be a bowl. And then there's, there's accessories in it, but we're not really showing that. Whoa, okay, I'm moving this so that you can get a better look at this. So this is my favorite thing. Of furniture that I've made. So it's based so bit blah, sorry. So basically it's it's a doll toilet and so you see like this part and then this part. So I, I took a shoe box and I cut it in half and I cut the lid in half too. And then when I stacked them together I realized it was low and me and my dad and my mom made this. So like, I basically, my mom and dad helped me hot glue it and come up with how to build it. Because I thought it was too low. My dad said that maybe we could use, and then I decided I could use toilet paper rolls. And with a little bit of work, we finally, like, figured it out. And we used extra cardboard right here for, like, the actual thingy. Because we didn't have, because I used the toilet, the other part of the lid right here. And I had, I cut a hole in it. So that it looks like actual toilet. And this was glued on, but it came unglued. And then we spray painted it, and it looks really good. Like, I thought it was, like, it looks way better than I thought it It might not be the best, but it looks better than I thought it was. And it's kind of square, but that's okay. So I hope you enjoyed my video of my American Girl doll homemade furniture. I'm probably going to do another video on homemade accessories. So, yeah. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.